Hi everyone, this is HJ. Welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Last episode, it was the awesome 15 minutes of battling. I know a few of you watched that. And let's just say that was uh, it's one of my better commentaries. Kinda. I don't know. Today's mission is to complete this mission, to put it bluntly. And like I said, I gave you guys the liberty of skipping most of it last episode, so you're going to get the eventual march to the final stronghold and the ending cutscene, which I will do my best to read as epic as possible, since I like to do that. So, yeah, it's really hot out. Like, uncomfortably hot. I don't know if uh, you guys have any experience with being uncomfortably hot. I imagine some of you probably do, but the reason why I say it's uncomfortably hot is because, well, for those of you who don't know, I live in Buffalo. What is Buffalo known for? Well, chicken wings and snow, right? That's that's what our things are, right? And uh, it gets hot in the summer in Buffalo because, well, I don't know why, maybe the humidity from the lake or some bullshit, but it's hot. It's like 90 degrees out. It's 4th of July, by the way. I'm commentating on 4th of July because I feel like it and uh, I'm really hot and I don't have an air conditioner I don't have central air in my house I have a fan a small desk fan well maybe it's a little bit bigger than a desk fan but it's not like one of those window fans it's a smaller fan and whenever I do commentary I can't have the fan on because it'll blow into my microphone so I have to be uncomfortably hot while I talk to you the sacrifices I make for you guys let me tell you but seriously speaking, it's hot. I don't like the heat. I've lived in Buffalo all my life. You know, some people, oh, the winters are cold. Well, I can deal with cold, because you can always find a way to warm up. But I can never find a way to cool down. I mean, you can only abuse people's pools in central air for so long before they send you home, right? And it's 85 degrees when you try and go sleep with your baby-ass fan, and it's just not cool. So, sweating my ass off, talking to the internet. I don't know. I think it's a good way to spend the 4th of July. I mean, I've seen the fireworks a gajillion times, right? They don't really change. Oh, look, things explode and colors happen. I don't know. I've seen it a lot. They do it in Memorial Day, and Labor Day, 4th of July, and... Yeah, I don't know. I might get dragged out anyway, it's only 7, but... Even still, I don't really feel like going out. I got Ogre Battle to talk about. So anyway, it's hot. I hate the fact that it's hot out. But I'm going to deal with it as best I can. So, what are your tips for keeping cool? Let me know in the comments. And I'll try and keep them in mind when it keeps sweating my balls off. So. Anyway, final stronghold. Here we go. Game on. Final destination. Cutscene go. Not bad. So different from Frederick. That coward. Too bad. Your strength is too valuable to be wasted, but you're really nothing but a hindrance to us. I didn't really want to. I didn't have to, but for the revolution, farewell. I must be fight. Shouldn't we concentrate our energy on the Western Division? I'm pissed off at his beating around the bush. Everyone living in peace? It's nothing but a dream. A damn dream. We do things by force. That's what we believe in. We'll change the world for ourselves. For ourselves. Anybody who will stand against us will fall. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Because, uh, you're not standing in a really good position. Mr. Enemy Leader Boss Guy. But you can block, so I will give you credit for that. That's the only thing that guy's got going for him. The fact that he blocked two of my attacks in the first round. Whatever. Whew. It is hot out. But we had a crit anyway, so it kind of makes it better. And we miss our other two attacks. This is so derpy. It's either hit or miss. And since we bump him back, he gets a fire move. And I don't know. We lose, but it's to be expected. I don't think I've ever finished the boss in the first fight in any of these. If I have, you know, feel free to correct me, but I don't think I have yet. So. Next up, we give Troy a shot. I don't know why I didn't send myself in. Probably because I wanted to share the EXP, but we sent Troy in. Troy's guys can actually hit. Because he's done. First round, done. 
knocked out. Take a seat, kid. Liberating Alba changed the Revolutionary Army. Don't think it's the same as before. You learn the sweetness of victory, the joy of winning battles. You. Think you can keep it under control? Can you stop? The momentum? We aren't a bunch of cowards. You better watch your back. Don't trust any B Adi Blair. Alrighty. Let's look at that. We cut right to the chase. There was like three minutes of bullshit commentary right to the final battle. I like the system a lot better. You should too. So we find his mask thing, six soldiers, some goth. Probably never gonna use the mask thing. And post battle wrap up. Western region. Castle Talapea. Congratulations on your long awaited appointment to General, my lord. How does it feel? State your business. My prince seems to be in a bad mood. That's gay. I came to talk with you about the upcoming battle with the Revolutionary Army. I believe that the Western Division is more adequate to deal with them. Especially, Sir Ankiseth is here. But you never know what's going to happen on the battlefield. That's why I brought some able reinforcements. They do not look native. Are they from Lotus? You are very astute, Sir Ankiseth. These men, these men were sent to us by the Holy Lotus Empire. Nonsense. Are you suggesting that we be indebted to Lotus? This is our problem. We must take care of it from ourselves. He's the only guy who makes sense, by the way. How the hell can you still think that? Where in this kingdom is their strength? Our own problem? Who do you think exercises control over Palatinus? We're nothing but vassals of the Lotus Empire who live in one of their territories. You know all too well that if we can't stop the revolution, this kingdom will perish, don't you? Oh, that's right. Your beloved son is a turncoat, isn't he? That's me, by the way. You want to avoid fighting your son? You want to treat him with kindness? As a father? I guess that's to be expected, even for Ankiseth the Steadfast himself. Ankiseth, is that true? H.J. is in the Revolutionary Army? Even Ankiseth the Murderer is ashamed that his son has joined the rebels? You shouldn't hide such an important matter from our prince. My lord, your friend H.J. was, until recently, assigned to the Southern Division, but he's now with Revolutionary Army. That's a grammatical cutscene thing. He was spotted during the last battle with the Southern Division. Grammatical cutscene error, I meant to say. No! You're lying! I'm not lying, my lord. Unfortunately, he turned against us in front of my very own eyes. What I'm telling you is the truth. So, Raid. I understand the Central Division intent, but we have pride as the Western Division. If we accept assistance, it may affect our morale. I'm sorry, but we must decline. Please deliver our response to the king. If you say so, then there's nothing else for me to say. Since I'm assigned to deal with the Revolutionary Army, I cannot return to the Central Division empty-handed. From now on, we will act on our own, if you don't mind, of course. If you excuse me, Prince Yumil, I must be going. Sir Ankiseth, you retain your title solely by the mercy of His Majesty. Keep that in mind. Move it. Aru. Why? H.J. What? What happened? Why did you turn on us? Thank you, Seth. Tell me. Is it my fault? Because I lack strength? Because I don't have enough power to change Palatinus? Yeah, you pretty much hit it right on the head there. Sorry, bro. Alright. This wraps up that. And uh, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64.